Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by. This is a live view of the moon. I watch the moon sometimes like this because I get a different view now to the photo, a pause still. Bottom left, that light source is in a white patchy area and almost impossible to see because it's on the very outer limits of the west side of the moon seen from here in Montreal, Canada. And it's just on the borderline of um, light and dark where the line is of the light and the dark at the full moon phase. But this way I can see the surface differently and all those little white patches of light that you see are actually structures, they're not mountains. Cassini Crater, here a couple videos back, I got the structures over top, at the, nor the north side of Cassini Crater here um, on top and of, again by changing the light Left structure right there is going to go out of view very soon with the blue line, totally left, is one of the structures of Plato Crater, which we're going to go see in great detail too. A couple of frames of those structures that NASA is also very interested in. Look at the geometrical shapes, guys, on the surface. Look at the one in the crater, supposed crater on the left there. Working with light very practical when you're trying to get the surface take this stitched photo this is why you see edges by the way guys i keep every angle in i'm not going to shoot out 70 craters in the corner there that i i stick them in this is for research reasons look at the beautiful craters in the southern highlands of course it's infested with craters on the moon you can see clavius crater not far away from there and here seen again a different way nothing changed except the gray. I took the gray out and I put every detailed outline white just so that we can see what's on the surface. And you can see right there, bottom right, is where I got the beautiful, beautiful city with the real building like structure and wall like here on Earth that I posted in the video of clear proof structures. So it's a way of bringing out the surface, different ways of, of bringing out the surface, and this can be done absolutely very easily with free editing programs. We can also see that most of the craters, most of the craters on the moon are elevated off the surface, and they have these flat road-like paths all the way around. And when I say path, it's many miles wide, some of them, and the craters are not small. They're one over the other. How can there not be craters on Earth as much as on the moon? If we're 300, 400,000 kilometers apart now, do you know how much closer it was just 100 years ago? Could you imagine when it all started, when the moon was beside Earth, it was so damn close? So how could craters wind up on the moon and not here? This supposed spaceship is so much like um the one online and look at the barnacles it looks like we're in the bottom of the ocean here seeing all this debris right on the surface but these are lit objects spherical objects they're round some of them look like uh coffee beans what are they they're they're not everywhere on the moon they're only in this area what the heck are they they're anomalies and nasa never ever mentions them Now just look at the color, bottom left on the surface. This amazing, look at the nose of this object. Look at the bottom, inside the dark, what's lurking there. We can see an actual spherical object. Objects all around the supposed ship there. And look as we're zooming in, the surface, how it is. It's all very colorful and uh, like a hazy, bluish hue over certain areas, hundreds of different anomalies on the surface, the closer we get. To give you an idea of what's around the ship, this is another very, very beautiful shot that we can see a good view of the surface and the anomalies that are there on the surface. These massive uh, bright walls that are aligned throughout the entire surface of the moon that 
is making this blinding effect on our cameras, telescopes, and the naked eye, of course. We really can see some of these areas are enclosed by a massive blue, transparent, very clear cover. So everyone in the world should know that NASA and all space agencies are concerned about these structures around sinus iridum, as well as I am seeing the massive complexity of them. Guys, look at this. Look at what we're looking at. Okay. I didn't even zoom this one in because I want you to see it properly. Look at the bottom structures on the right, guys. And now these are the mountains of sinus iridum. It's the same photo that we just saw. You could see what is connected. Look at the long lines at the back and elevated levels that uh, descend to other levels of anomalies and structures. Big uh, crater on the right. It's not a crater, but the big crater on the right, there is a massive city inside of that crater. And now look here, magnifying it a little bit. Those spherical circles of light are what are basically in the bottoms of every crater that I see often, but never that many together as much as where we saw the supposed spaceship at the beginning of the video. So the massive installations we just saw are at the far top right. Now the top, bottom left here, sheesh, what the heck? Are you seeing what's there? Are you seeing that it's overlapped structures? It's not hard to see. We're gonna go see it a different way. Now we are looking for symmetrical lines right now because I know there are some there, obviously. Look, we can see the bottom symmetrical, square rectangular shapes, overlap, levels overlaid, interconnected to one another all the way around massive city and inside the area of the mare here, you can also see inside of sinus iridum, the supposed flat surface is not flat at all, very geometrical shapes. I've showed it in many different uh, hues, tints, etc. It's what I'm starting to do now, and it's bringing out the structures amazingly. So you're looking at cities. This is sinus iridum. Yeah, it sounds crazy. I totally agree that it sounds crazy, but I'm happy that I'll be the first to say that in sinus iridum, there is a city. So what you all have to do is take pictures of NASA or anyone uh, better amateur astronomers, trust me, they have nicer photos and I'm finding magnificent amateur astronomer photos online. Um, you can find them of sinus iridum and please compare them to my photos, like these angles. Um, every edge ha has not been changed. So obviously by seeing a natural photo um, of the surface of the moon of sinus iridum further out as close as you can, you will compare the edges and every detail where you see a massive big detail like here you, uh, back out and you will see that wow it's not shade it's actual structures Now here is Plato Crater. You will see it this way and you will see it in a different light and view of the structuring and layering. And further on, we will see the installations much more clarified than I, I got them. A couple of different views a bit closer. So please enjoy and thanks. Um, I'm working again today. I, I worked all day. Uh, tomorrow I'm working too, but this weekend I'll get some extremely detailed videos up. I'm finding a magnificent technique of showing my work, and uh, thank you for the interest, everyone.